Que nosotros no sabemos lo que va a pasar. Claro, no somos como vosotros. Te hacen la idea, pero bueno. Ojalá que vaya todo para que bien. Peor está, me... seguro, vaya. Cada vez está peor todo, ¿no? Matan todo, animales. Matan árboles, lo matan todo. Los animales se mueren, claro. Si tú vas cortando fauna, pues los animales huyen, huyen y sí, se van muriendo. Se van muriendo. Oye, la chaqueta. No ¿Eh? ¿Eh? Ah, la chaqueta. Sí. Te saco más de chuga. We are in a crossroads of planet Earth more than ever before, and and yes, of course it's the case. The reason, reason I say of course it's the case is that there are more humans alive now than ever before, so that we are consuming more now than ever before. Not only are there more humans alive now, but our consumption rates are much higher than in the past. So we're making much higher demands on the resources of planet Earth than ever before. planet we have about 11 and a half billion hectares that are biologically productive and we divide up a number of people we get an average of roughly 1.8 hectares of ecologically productive space then we can compare that with how many hectares do we actually use now typically worldwide use on average 2.2 global hectares so that's more than what we have we use resources more rapidly than they're being regenerated it's like spending more money than what we earn we use about 20 percent more than what nature can regenerate. And people say, how is it possible? How can we use more than what nature regenerates? But actually, it's the same. How is it possible to spend more money than we earn? It's possible for some time. We can pump water out of the ground more rapidly than it's being replenished. We can fish more rapidly than fish is being restocked. Switzerland, where I'm from, the average Swiss uses about five global hectares. The average American, about nine, nine and a half. really the developed world would be the model. If everybody lived like us, it would take five planets to maintain the resource throughput. Now, that cannot be the goal. about scarce resources, we're talking about grain, we're talking about oil, we're talking about water, we're talking about forest products. I mean, you can go down the line. We, we've not had to deal with global scarcity um, 
uh, for so many commodities on a long-term basis. I mean, there have been occasional scarcities for one reason or another, um, but not, not as systemic. If we do business as usual with 9 billion people like we do now, and let's say China and India would have the same consumption standard as, as, as Sweden or Portugal and so on, when this planet would simply explode. 